guys, so I just made it to my post off. I am bloody all over the place. Um, but after my post off appointment, they're just gonna basically well, they're just gonna basically check me and see how I'm doing. And then I have my first massage today, so my nurse just dropped me off. She's gonna go get breakfast and then come get me. So um, I'm feeling really good though. I'm walking on my own. I'm getting up and going to the bathroom. But yeah, I've been able to get up and use the restroom. You know, I've been walking a lot. So I am definitely doing really good. Um, I have another dress underneath, but um, my pain label is literally at like a zero, maybe a one, but closer to a zero. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, 501. Same. Thank you. Hey, y'all. So I went to my post stop, which was at 9 a.m. So I was only in a waiting area for like 10, 15 minutes. I was bloody all over the place. There were like two other girls that were there for post stop. I went into the room. They just checked all of my incisions. They took my faha off and then they put everything back on. Um, and then after that, I was just going to go back to the room, do my massage, take a shower, get into my new faja. So this is what I look like um, right before doing my massage and taking my shower. And I've been draining a lot, which is good. You know, it's all of those fluids coming out. Um, so you want to make sure that you do drain a lot. You want to make sure that you stay really hydrated that way everything comes out but it is definitely scary but all of this is absolutely normal so i had my first massage today it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be but i could definitely feel all the all of the fluids just moving around and then they were coming out as well um she was super gentle with the first massage but she said tomorrow is going to get a little bit more intense but i think out of the entire surgery that's what i feared the most was the massages because i heard they were literally worse than the surgery and like i said i have not had that much pain at all with my meds my pain been at a like one or zero but even like immediately after surgery like i was hurting but not to the point where i would cry or you know say that i was hurting i kind of it kind of just felt like really really bad stomach cramps um, but other than that, it wasn't bad. And then as soon as I made it to the hotel, I took my meds. So I was fine after like 30 minutes. So after she massaged my back, she had me get up and then she did the stomach part. Now that part did hurt a little bit more. It wasn't bad to where I would like scream or anything, um, but it did, it was a little bit uncomfortable. Alrighty, so after she finished doing my massages, I took a shower with the um, antibacterial soap and I didn't scrub. I kind of just rubbed the soap on my hands and just kind of lathered my body. And then after that, she put pads where my incisions were because my arms were draining a lot. It was literally all over the floor, like dripping. Um, so she put pads on there with some tape and then she put um, band-aids on others. And then after that, I'm putting my faja on on my own. And then she helped me with my tank top. And then we're also going to do the arm compression garment as well as the um, neck one.
Alrighty, so after we put the faja through my legs, um, we did a tank top underneath. That way I don't get like creases and stuff from the faja and it doesn't like rub against my stomach. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the little hooks. I did the third one since the faja is a little bit big. But then we're going to go ahead and do the stomach boards and then the one on the back that kind of goes like right above my booty crack. And then the 360 boards will go um, on top of the faja. And you want to make sure that you compress a lot, y'all. Like, that is super important because, you know, after they do the lipo 360 on your stomach, you kind of just have that loose skin. And by compressing, you're basically uh, making sure that your, that your skin retracts to that fat that's still left underneath. So make sure that you compress a lot. If your faja is loose... That means that it is not compressing really well. So um, as you can see, we're just doing the other set of boards, which is the 360 board. And then she's going to make sure that she tied up real good. So this is the zero gravity chair. Uh, my nurse actually rents these for like $30 a day. So I rented it for five days and you know, it's just a way for me to not have to sit on my butt, the I mean, lay on my stomach the entire time. I'm able to sit, but my butt is hanging out the, like the bottom of the chair. Show them. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's hanging out. Alrighty, so right before my nurse left, she made me this pineapple tea because pineapple helps with inflammation. And it's usually like pineapple and tur um, not turmeric, but ginger. And I didn't find any ginger at the store, but I did get these teas right here, which are also anti inflammatory. And so she just put like, I don't know how many little bags of that in here. Um, but I've already been drinking it. And then I'm also going to eat the little pineapple chunks in there as well. So before I go, I wanted to show you guys how I pee. I feel like this is a really common question because of course you can't sit on your butt. Now they do sell the little um, urinals, which this one came in the set with, or the bundle with my video pillow and then my boards and stuff. But I haven't used it because this file has a zipper like down here. So all I have to do is unzip it. And then you face the back of the toilet seat and you just literally like this so it's not uncomfortable like it doesn't hurt my thighs or anything but you do want to make sure that you do not sit on your butt um i know they do say they recommend for you to not sit on your butt for like four to six weeks so that's just how you got to do it or if you want to use the urinal that's good as well so what you gonna do when you have to go number two just like that just go <laughs> or Alrighty y'all, so I am in my new Faja. We have the boards in here. Um, I have the 360 boards and then I also have the one on my back. Um, this little thing I got from Amazon, which is just the arm compression and it just like ties up right here. And then the chin garment I also got on Amazon. So I'll be sure to leave my link down below to my um, Amazon storefront where I linked all of the items that I purchased for my surgery. Um, but yeah, so now I just get to chill for the rest of the day. Um, my nurse is only here for a few hours today and then she'll be back tomorrow. Um, and then she'll also be back like three more times for massages. And then I have more massages booked through somebody else. But my nurse has been amazing. She's super nice, um, super helpful as well. Um, we just been really talking, you know, like I've been doing a lot of stuff on my own. As far as like being able to go to the bathroom on my own, 
took a shower on my own walking you know i get up and give me some juice or some food um so she's definitely been really really helpful um i'll be sure to leave her information down below the name of her company is Quin confidence recovery services um and she is just absolutely amazing definitely recommend her um i know my sister seems to really like her as well um but yeah so this is it for today um obviously you see that for um what time is it jennifer uh 240 so it hasn't even been 24 hours since my surgery and i already been running not running around but you know moving around on my own um i haven't really been laying down a lot because it's uncomfortable on my stomach so i just did the grab uh, the gravity chair right now i'm just you know on my knees on this couch uh, but I am going to go ahead and lay down because I was editing this video and I did get like super sleepy because I just took my medicine. So I'm just going to lay down, watch TV and just chill for the rest of the day. And I'll keep you guys updated. Of course, I am really swollen, but you know, I'm definitely liking my results. My butt is like hard rock um, or hard as a rock. But with time, you know, it's going to start getting softer and jiggly and stuff. Um, and I probably drop, you know, a twerk video or not, and I'm just playing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the pain, as I've already mentioned, is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be, y'all. Like I definitely do, do not regret my decision. Um, I'm not bruised a lot either. I think I'm only bruised like under my arms and then like a tiny bit on my chin, um, which I've seen where people like bruise all the way down here, like on their neck. So that didn't happen to me. And then I'm bruised like on my like right here in the middle and then a little bit on my sides but not bad at all like I've definitely seen worse um, but I think my experience so far has been really good um, I'm glad that everything's going really smoothly and no complications so far and I hope that it continues um, just like that but again I'm just gonna go sip on my pineapple tea um, to help with the inflammation and then I'll probably eat something later on after I take a nap so thank you guys so much for the support y'all it's amazing how many people have reached out to me unfortunately you know through with trying to like settle down and take a shower and everything i have not been able to um reply to everyone but i definitely really appreciate how i definitely really appreciate the support that you guys have shown me um y'all look at my ear oh my god hold on there we go so I definitely really, really appreciate it. Um, and hopefully everything, like I said, continues uh, to go smoothly. But y'all yeah, look like a whole potato head or something. But yeah, I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you guys later. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.